depression is one of the most debilitating health problems in the world. Yet, many people have trouble getting treatment because it's either too expensive or they live too far away. Well, researchers at St Vincent's Hospital in Sydney have come up with a program that combines face-to-face -face consultation with remote therapy over the internet. Dr Norman Swan logs on to find out if for mental health issues, virtual clinics might be the treatment of the future. I'm a 34-year-old female. I think that I've been in some state of depression since my teens. I'm greatly affected by excessive worrying, anxiety and by making decisions. About one and a half million Australians have anxiety disorders and depression. Yet only one in four of those receive effective treatment. Major depressive disorder means that you have a number of specific symptoms and that the sadness and loss of interest and inability to concentrate, thoughts that life's not worth living, last for a decent period of time. It's important to realise that anxiety often goes along with depression. So if you've got, say, social phobia, extreme shyness, it's very likely you're depressed as well. And when it comes to depression, the scientific evidence is that what works are medications and one-to-one -one therapy using in particular cognitive behavioural therapy. Cognitive behavioural therapy is where people are taught to understand how their thoughts impact on the way they feel and how to identify unhelpful thoughts to improve the way they feel. But can social phobia, generalised anxiety or depression be treated effectively without seeing a psychologist or doctor face to face? Can an online character like Jess here help someone manage or overcome their problem? I'm of a generation that doesn't really understand relationships through a screen. I don't get it, but maybe I'm out of step. There are quite a few websites, both here and indeed overseas, which provide cognitive behavioural therapy online. But the Sadness Program, developed by Professor Gavin Andrews and his colleague Nick Titov at the University of New South Wales, has had some amazing results. Really, the heart of Virtual Clinic is this. There's a cartoon story of someone with the disorder. We took what we do in our face-to-face -face clinic, cognitive behaviour therapy, and transported it onto the web. All the information that was in the they log onto the website, fill in some questionnaires. We then ring them and conduct a standard diagnostic interview over the phone. I'm just going to ask you a little bit about your mood. So just thinking back over the last two weeks, have you been consistently depressed or down? This program treats people who are mild, moderate or severely depressed. It does not want to treat people who are actively suicidal. I just feel down. I don't know why. What about having difficulty concentrating or making decisions? Yes, I do, all the time. <laughs> I don't know why. Over the next 10 weeks, those people will do the six lessons and the homework, like an activity monitoring and planning worksheet, and they talk to each other. People on the program talk to each other. Well, they post to the forum. Let me show you some of the stories from the front line. I tried really hard this week to be less negative and more positive. Most mornings I wake feeling sad and I always feel tired and I'd love to stay in bed and just sleep, sleep, sleep. There's a Positives Hunt worksheet, because when you're depressed, you just see it all through a glass darkly. I've kept up my daily walk, and I'm listening to music as I go. I'm concentrating more on the music and the things that I'm seeing than on the fact that I'm walking. It's fun. There's one called Facing Your Fears. Show me that one. I met an old friend this morning. We met at a cafe. I thought she wouldn't want to see me, but we both cried when I told her I'd been depressed, and we've promised to catch up more. We've now treated 770 people over the web. We did an open trial and a randomised control trial, and in our work in depression, about three-quarters of people who met criteria for major depressive disorder at 
the beginning no longer met criteria after 10 weeks. Exciting stuff. One person was so happy with the results of his online therapy that he rang into ABC local radio to tell his story. Yeah, you're doing Gavin's online thing at the moment. Yeah, I've been doing it for a couple of months now, and it's been a great catalyst for me. It's been really well, worth life, oh. life is getting better, is it? Absolutely. The results last, just like CBT does in the real world. And what's even more interesting is that the more independent people, that is, the less clinician support they needed, the better they do. It's as though I'm not very important anymore. Does that worry you? No, but it wasn't what I was trained for. The program is being rolled out to GPs across Australia. So I've come to see general practitioner Dr Bronwyn Gould to see what she thinks about it. Hi, Bronwyn. Hi, how are you? Fine. How are you? Really nice. In terms of web-based therapy and face-to-face -face therapy working together, I think there's an interesting new role because it's horses for courses. Some people will get more out of the web base, some will get more out of the face-to-face, -face, and sometimes one will help explain the other. People tend to act better and believe more on things that they think they've come up with themselves and things they've been told by somebody else. Do you think it's going to do you out of a job? I doubt it. I think anything that empowers people who feel hopeless, sad or worried is a good thing. So what are the messages here? Well, evidence-based online therapy does work as long as you're properly assessed as part of it. It's convenient, you can do it at home and it doesn't cost you anything. And it's terrific for people who live in rural and remote areas. Also, there are so many people with anxiety disorders and depression in Australia there probably aren't enough clinicians to go around. And this could be one solution. I've learnt a lot, although I feel like it's just the beginning. Each lesson has brought up such big issues and at times has been overwhelming. But the big one for me is planning, planning, planning. It really helps to have some structure to the day so that depression doesn't creep in.